welcome to another Friday Fun and uh, today is very impromptu because I was literally, I was just on Facebook, I posted something about one of the reviews that we'd done which is Gaz's VR1 HD, the Roland video switcher and I saw a Behringer post and it said PolyD is the best selling synthesizer at Toman.de. I thought crikey. That's impressive, isn't it? I mean, that's actually quite an impressive achievement. So I thought, why not? Let's get the PolyD out. And I've paired it again with the Zoom Multistomp MC, MS70 CDR, which I don't know much about it. Uh, we were just told it was pretty good. And literally all I've done is flip through a few things. I think it's using the uh, particle reverb on this, which is kind of a granular -y, uh, I suppose if I... Let's see, I can probably make it just... Let's see. Yeah, so it's a sort of frozen, you know my thing, ambient. But the thing about the PolyD, obviously we know it's got some really nice, sort of quite beefy oscillators. So I've just set this up really simple in a poly mode, so I can play some tones with a bit of glow. I've patched the aftertouch out of the aftertouch and into the filter so I can add a bit of... expression and that's nice and I've also patched the headphones into the into the overload so I get this kind of mad switch to square waves go. It's literally stereo out into this and that's all I'm doing. And the thing about this is just the oscillators do sound really nice and you can just play simple chords and in something as reverberant as this. maximum polyphony. And I found out what the auto damps for. It means when you're playing chords, the decay will ring out. Get a bit of over, over the top feedback when using the. Uh, that. Oh, that's nice.
minimal, I'm using the resonance here just to control the bottom end. Anyway, hope that's maybe just made you think, uh, you know what I need in my life is a whole bunch of ambient reverb. And a synthesizer. Thanks for watching.